Carbon Titanium Mark V. Is it the best smartphone? Probably not. But is it the best entry-level smartphone in the market right now? Maybe yes. What's up guys? This is Biraj Singh Chetri and you're watching MNS Tectonic. And today we are reviewing Carbon's latest smartphone, the Titanium Mark V. How serious does that sound? Well, the Mark V comes in three colors. Champagne, blue white and silver. Champagne looks classy, the blue white looks playful and silver is just well silver. Now let's take a look inside the box. We have the Mark 5 set here with a pretty standard design. Uh, furthermore, we have the earphones and the charger and the cord. Uh, we have a pretty standard design of the Mark 5 here. On the right side, we have a volume rocker, the power button. On the bottom, we have a microphone, a USB port. On the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And on its side, we have a pretty cool feature, the IR blaster, and we will get to that later. Getting rid of the textured back over here. The back cover is textured and metallic. Some might like it, some might not. On the inside, we have two micro SIM card slots and the micro SD card slot. Then we have the 2200 milliampere battery, which Carbon claims to give around six hours of talk time. After usage, we found that it gives around a day of battery life. The appearance, though pretty standard, resembles that of the HTC One M8, which is good too, because Looking at the price and the low end range of this device, it resembles bigger devices. The 5 inch HD display is sharp and bright. Another thing that Carbon claims is that the screen on the Mark 5 is 18% more brighter than its previous phones. That's so without using more battery. The screen definitely looks brighter and even so at halfway through this brightness cycle. So that's pretty impressive. The 5 inch display that covers 70% of the phone definitely makes the phone big in size. So you need two hands to use this device. But it'll sit comfortably inside your pocket and at only 157 grams, it is not bulky at all. For a low end smartphone, the Mark 5 comes with great hardware specs. 720p HD display powered by a 1.3 GHz quad core ARM Cortex A7 processor and a dual-core ARM Mali 400 MP2 graphics unit, which affords a seamless user interface. The 2GB RAM means the speed will not be compromised easily. And the 16GB internal storage, expandable up to 32GBs with a micro SD card means you can download all your media files, download apps and games, and still have some space to use your Mark 5 as a flash memory. The next big thing in the Mark 5 is the built-in IR blaster. It emulates an infrared remote control that you can use to operate electronic devices like smart TVs, aircons and DVDs. It does take some twiddling around before you get the right setting for a device, but it does the work. And since IR blasters only come with high-end devices like Samsung Galaxies, HTC One M9 and LG G series, it's definitely a step forward for Carbon. Another good thing about the Mark 5 is perhaps the way its 8 megapixel rear camera operates. And it's not just the hardware that's appealing. The camera UI itself comes with several handy features like the burst mode, color filters, live photo, ISO, white balance, exposure settings, panorama, beauty mode, smile detection, HDR and much more. But the coolest of all has to be the inclinometer that shows up on frame. It gives you an idea of the angle when you're taking pictures which is subtle but helpful. But what matters at the end is whether the photo comes out sharp and the videos appear crisp. And guess what? They actually do. Considering that there's a 5 megapixel camera at the front and both the primary and secondary cameras have their own LED flashlights, there isn't much to complain about the Mark 5 in this regard. But that's not where the Mark 5 ceases to amaze me. It comes with the latest Android 5.0 Lollipop, and the more I tend to play around with the settings and widgets, I find more and more intriguing stuff. Not important per se, but interesting little features that sometimes come in handy, 
and never fail to order user. That said, the Mark 5 offers a lot more on features at the price of only 12,500, which is less than the competing models from Micromax and Xiaomi. And the fact that you get value for money means that you're in for a treat when you buy the Mark 5. It's definitely not a phone that you pit against mid-range and high-range phones, but it does not burn a hole through your wallet. It's good. Good enough for your money's worth. And with the Mark 5 at this price, I believe I'm thoroughly impressed.